chaos in Kinshasa on Monday as demonstrators burnt tires and U.S. and Belgian flags near Western embassies and United Nations offices. They're angry about insecurity in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and say Western countries are supporting Rwanda, which is accused of backing the Tutsi-led M23 rebellion in the region. What the Congolese demonstrators reproach the international community for is its silence and indifference in the face of the massacres suffered by their compatriots in the east of the country. We know this isn't a new event, these aren't new demonstrations, because we've also experienced them in the past, although today it's taking place on a different level. The Congolese government sent police to protect the embassies and UN headquarters, but did not denounce the violence against its Western partners. The government is in an impasse because it has difficulty differentiating between action and condemnation. I would have liked the two to be combined, but today we realize that the government is in a form of impasse, which is why it's following in the footsteps of the people. Fighting between government forces and the M23 in the eastern North Kivu province has escalated recently and is drawing closer to its capital, Goma. The group launched the offensive in late 2021, capturing swathes of the province and driving over one million people from their homes. It's now up to the government to take things in hand and adopt a serious approach to this war. Either by negotiating with a credible interlocutor, because I think in the past the government hasn't really negotiated with a credible interlocutor, which in my opinion is Rwanda, because the M23 are nothing more than auxiliaries. The eastern part of the DRC has been plagued by violence from local and foreign armed groups for nearly 30 years.